If you're interested in purchasing a new Tesla, use the top link down below to get free credits you can redeem for awards like supercharging miles, merchandise, and accessories. One of the best things about owning a 2023 Tesla Model 3 or Y is the amount of tricks the car can do. In today's video, not only will I show you some tips and tricks for your new Tesla, but we'll also show you a couple bonus accessories that can go alongside those tricks the car can do. A great way to start this video would have to do with the one pedal driving Tesla is known to do. Because the Tesla has regenerative braking, the Tesla is able to never use the brake pedal, therefore saving wear and tear on the brake. Once you open up settings, go to pedals and steering, and there you'll notice a stopping mode section. After that, there's three options, creep, roll, and hold. Creep is basically like a combustion engine vehicle. The Tesla will move slowly when no brakes are applied. Roll is about the same thing as creep, just a little faster, but hold maximizes range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in braking to hold the vehicle at a stop position. Below there is a tab to switch on when it's cold out to mimic one pedal driving. I keep this off because it does wear out your brakes a little faster. In relation to recharging your battery from regenerative braking, a good way to track that is with the battery icon on the top left. You may notice it is either stuck on the battery percentage or mileage, but it's actually really simple to toggle between the two. All you gotta do is click the battery to quickly change between percentage and mileage miles just like this. Speaking of range, a great way to make sure your Tesla is getting the best range possible is by checking your tire pressure. On the side of your wheels shows what the maximum PSI should be and there is a few ways of checking your PSI currently. First is going into the Tesla app. The second way is from the screen itself. And from a recent update, you can now see it simply by the tabs on the bottom of the screen. Clicking one of the tabs will allow you to see more details as well. Speaking of new updates, the latest update introduced steering wheel hotkeys, where by holding down the left squirrel wheel, it gives you a lot of different features you can enable from it. I personally do the glove compartment as my option, as opening it before was very tedious to do so. Lastly, in regards to energy, Tesla has its own application in the car that allows you to see many different options. On the bottom shows what your last trips look like and what drained your battery more. On the top, clicking on consumption will show you a graph from the last 5 to 30 miles of the projected range from the Tesla's current speed and environment. You'll notice right away that the APA amount of range does not match the projected Tesla amount of range. That is because Tesla is always projecting real world events around the car to keep it accurate to amount of range you might have. Teslas have reinvented how air moves throughout the car. Everything is done by dragging on the screen where you want to direct airflow. Simply pinch your finger to whatever direction you want the air to go to and boom, you're done. The air will go to that direction only. You'll notice right away that the fan will only be on to the people that are in the car. It realizes who is in the car by the seat sensors. If you'd like to turn on the passenger seat's air, even if someone's not in there, you just simply tap on the passenger side. While having climate control on, there are many unique things you can do in this car opposed to others. And one thing is for sure is that while waiting at a charging station, you'll be sitting for a while. So Kotaza makes a foldable table that can be placed on the driver's seat or passenger seat that allows for a great workstation while waiting to charge. It has indented sections for a cup and your phone. Once you're done with it, it is easily able to be packed away with the included bag it comes with. Kotaza was kind enough to give you guys a 5% discount in the link down below. With climate control, you are also able to turn on my favorite feature, Camp Mode, which allows for a very comfortable experience to relax in the back of the Tesla with my favorite accessory, which is a test camp bed I mentioned in my top 10 Tesla accessory video. But an awesome thing to include with camp mode to keep it even cooler inside on a hot summer day is window curtains and a sunshade for your panoramic sunroof. EV Base makes these curtains very easy to use without any adhesive in your Tesla. They come on these rails that slide into the weather strip above the window. Once installed, they behave just like any curtain out there. EV Base also makes a foldable sunshade that can be easily put on the panoramic sunroof without any adhesive as well. They come with included clips that I found myself only needing to use one to stick into the interior ceiling. Once done, they're easily able to be folded away and stored in a really nice bag included. Having these accessories help improve Tesla's best feature out there. 
Camp mode is going to be something I make a dedicated video about when I go camping later this year. EV Base made an exclusive link down below for 15% off not only this product, but the whole website. Use code SEBEV for your first purchase to get 15% off anything on their website. Speaking of protecting the interior of your Tesla, the Tesla has a great way to do it without any accessories at all. Tesla has a feature called Cabin Overheat Protection, which allows the car to maintain a certain temperature at all times. You can check this feature through the app or the car as well. It gives you a different option of temperatures for your desire. I do warn, this does consume some of your range as well, so if you do turn it on, be aware that you might lose some battery by the end of your day. Okay, this is a 2-in-1. Another way to cool off your Tesla if you don't want to use your battery or range would be using the window vent feature. Window vent allows you through the app to remotely roll down and up your window. Another thing in regards with the window is my favorite feature with window lock, and that is when walking away from the Tesla, the car will automatically roll up the windows. I can't tell you how many times when I had my Honda Civic, I'd come back to my Honda Civic with rain or snow inside the car. So this feature is definitely a lifesaver. And that was the top 10 tips and tricks for the 2023 Tesla Model 3 and why. Let me know what cool tricks you guys found out once getting your car down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's move forward to the sustainable energy we call our future.